Okay, and we're back. It's been about an hour for me, but, um, actually, no, more like half an hour, but... For you guys, it's been, like, no time at all. So, anyways... Ah, we are trying to Grisu. Okay, yeah, and she's, like, alive. So, you want cops coming after you? Uh, I just want to find out the truth. While Maki's Kreese is shaking with anger, I turn her a direct gaze and move her jacket aside. What's that all about, you pervert? Are you stupid? Do you want to die? She pushes, she pushes my hand aside. That's Luis Chun's famous line. I ignore Daru's screaming and continue talking without flinching. I'm perfectly sure that I saw it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Wait. Wait, did you just did you just saw my see my underwear? Grease's face runs as she quickly tries to cover herself up. Yo, imbecile, that's not it. Uh. Noon today after the ending Dr. Nakabachi's presentation. A case Chris who was killed by someone who lied in a pool of blood. I gave her a thorough explanation of that. Eh? Eh? She just said it. What are you talking about, Okunin? Duck Nakaji's presentation was cancelled. Cancelled? Yeah. Because of the satellite crashing. Once again, the things I've seen and what others tell me are completely different. Same thing as the conversation I had with my Yuri after the t disappearing, I'm guessing. I'm feeling uneasy. Did I get myself involved in something outrageous? Is this another conspiracy of the organization? Hey, you. Uh, uh, my name is Yo Rinkyoma. <laughs> But that's wrong completely. You and son? You can like tell me what you just said in more detail. Looks like she now understands that I'm not lying. So I don't know why just why what I want why what I know and what others don't know doesn't match. So I doubt I can give her a good explanation. Hmm. <laughs> Middle-aged man shows his face from a small conference room at the inner part of this floor. Makisa-san, it's about to begin. Grisu um, yeah. throws me a glare, takes a deep breath, and heads towards the small conference room. Oh, Gurun, just go for now. Go? What do you mean? We came here to listen to a lecture genius. Oh, right. Darwin goes to the same place where Grisu just went. So she came to listen to the same lecture as us. The girl that girl genius? I made the wrong assumptions. Uh, as always. The girl genius didn't come here to listen to the lecture. Uh, thank you for thank you. Thank you for coming to listen to a young person such as myself. So she's the one doing the lecture. Water. Japan's 17 year old genius had her article published in Science. If what Daru said is correct, a few days ago she turned 18. The first I've ever known about her was from an article in a weekly Japan's gossip magazine that Daru showed me. That time he told me this. He's recently came to she she recently came to Japan. She's going to be a special guest in ATF. I remember that just now. So he was talking about today, huh? I am kind of nervous since this is my first time doing this. So I would greatly appreciate it if you uh, overlook my blunders. Yeah, clap, 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 clap. The group attending this lecture has a lot of variety. There are area there are a lot of students like me and Daro as well as the university professors. Risa gives me a sharp look. Look, she's definitely keeping an eye on me. When I glare back at her, she quickly averts her eyes. <laughs> I don't care if she's a genius or whatever, but she's hard for me to stomach. 
thought the same when she called out to me, the radio center. She's actually an audacious person and is only finding, finding, finding out, out. I know what the word means, but I don't know how to quite correctly say it. Friendly is right now. Even if her being killed was nothing but an illusion, I think I know that much about her personality. This time I've, whoops, this time I've been told to talk about the subject of time machines. It's not really my area of expertise, but I will give it my best. Oh, huh? time machines. Huh? If I were to begin with a con with the conclusion, I would say that time machines are completely are a completely absurd concept. Objection! Objection! Pretty soon, all the people who came to listen to this lecture are taken back by my words. <laughs> Natural reaction, I suppose. Oh, really? I, however, have no intention on listening to the words of some girl genius. It's too early to say that time machines are impossible to make. Okay, Okur you're overdoing it. I was saying on my side, it's giving me a humble salutation pose. Staff of ATF are approaching, probably taking me out of the room. Perhaps I got two carried away. Uh, well, I guess that is fine too. A discussion is a livelier, it's livelier than a lecture. She said that there's no need for me to be taken out. I think I just heard some bad words, but I think it's better to ignore them. But before that, allow me to speak my thoughts on this. Whoa. What's this? Until now, a lot of scientists have proposed many time travel theories, but at the very base, there are only 11 of them. Hmm. Uh, what were they again? From the back of my head, I can name the cosmic string theory. Um. Neutrons. Neutron star. Neutron star theory. Black hole theory. Speed of light theory. Tachyon theory, wormhole theory, exotic matter theory, cosmic string theory, quantum gravity theory, cesium laser beam theory, elementary particle ring laser theory, direct anti-particle theory. <laughs> See, as expected of, as expected of a girl genius. Makis Kurisu, I acknowledge you as a worthy opponent. However, each of these theories are nothing more but hypotheses. Hypotheses. Some of them are even denying the possibility of others. Then, what if the twelfth theory was proposed? Uh, uh, right, that's... Then it would be denied by the 13th theory. Damn you, brat. By my superstition and act actually using my own words against me. Not bad, not bad at all. Hello, peoples. I feel the stairs piercing me. Prideful professors are giving me stolen looks. It's bad, I think I got too carried away. Might not get points if this keeps up. So I think I'll have some, I'll have some restraint now. By the way, time travel to the future is available to us right now, according to the theory of relativity, that is. And most people more or less believe that. For example, if a person was to go to the Hanada airport and board a plane heading towards Kina, he upon arriving would be 100, mil 100 million part of a second in front of me in the future. What does that mean? The theory of relativity states that the time of an object slows down as the speed of an object approaches the speed of light. To give another example, one was to run at the speed close to the speed of light. The time that affects that person will only be half of the time that affects us. If he was to run for 24 hours, the amount of time that would affect the surrounding would be 48 hours. That is something that we call leaving one day into the future, Yo and Kiyoma's son. One day into the future, yo and kill my son. Ugh. Frickin' call me by my name. 
And though I just decided to strain myself, it looks like Lady Scarisu wants to pick a fight with me. I do wish that she wouldn't speak that name in front of so many people, though. I want unrelated people to find it out. But that's just sophism, isn't it? Someone who isn't a professor at that only made an objection. Truly an example of time travel that makes Car Makis Karisu just means it's not something that can be called time travel. Still, for an old professor to make refutations against an 18-year-old girl, perhaps he decided to join in on the discussion. Or maybe he's only trying to arrest the girl genius. It is. She's not sure only really accepts the objection. Considering the fact that she has such an audience for the first time in her 18 years of life, it's surprising how calm she is. Normally, after having a much older professor object to her, such a person would completely lose herself. However, Lee Karisu reacts to the situation, makes it seem like she's saying, I can handle this guy. So, 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 it, is it possible to go back in time? You can even get, you can go into the past right now. You got this guy at night with a telescope, you can see light from tens of thousands of years ago, can't you? That, that's sophism as well. The person who said that with his, uh, that's a, that was a dude. That was a dude. I, I thought that was a chick. Okay. Sounded like a chick. Well, what I've said until now has, has been an introduction. Is it only me or did her exp expression become stiff just now? Practically, for example, let's think about the first thing necessary to make a time machine that could physically move any everyone to the past or the future. Let's consider the cosmic string theory and the wormhole theory. The cosmic string is a cord shaped crevice which has an extremely large mass. String like crevice? Must be like one of those cranks from where they came from. But does something like that really exist? Whoa. The width of the crevice is about the same. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. The width of the crevice is about the same as that of an elementary particle, while the length is about that of a small galaxy. Since it has extremely large mass, its ability to distort space time. If you were to attempt a full rotation within that distortion in the cosmic string, it might rotate less than 360. In other words, you are able to do something resembling a warp. This is called space-time angle de deficit. Due to the loss of an a of angle, if an object was to pass through the area with angle de deficit, the time passing for the object would become zero. By applying this and assuming that cosmic string moves at speed close to the speed of light. According to the theory of relativity, the time of the cosmic stream becomes slower than the time of the surroundings. Passing through distorted angle deficit area would make the time passage, which was originally zero, become negative. Thus, after the passage, the direction in which time goes is the past. So, with the use of two cosmic strings, space deficit jump can occur if an object was to travel within that space deficit towards one location and back to the original spot. It would return at the same time at which it entered. And that is a rough explanation of what cosmic string theory based time travel is. What did I just read?